Hi, Mr. Taipodon. I'm going to demonstrate ultrasonic scalar technique to my instructor. Ultrasonic scalar is a pen light instrument with a blunt tip, which is used to remove plaque, calculus, and stains, as well as flush out debris, bacteria, blood, and toxin. During the procedure, you will feel the tip moving around your teeth. You will hear a bit high pitch noise, and you will also feel some water mist coming out from the instrument. You are welcome to put on your headphone or earplug if you like. If you have any, I will use suction to reduce the water splatter as well as the water pooling in the back of your mouth. If you feel uncomfortable, feel free to slowly raise your left hand. I will stop right away. Before I get started, I will provide a pr procedural rinse to you to reduce the number of microorganisms in the mouth, so that reduce the aerosol contaminant. Any questions for me? May I proceed? Now I will use the straight slim insert as demonstration. It is used in low power setting for removal of light to moderate calculus and plaque biofilm. I will start with number 25, 26. For number 25 and 26 facial aspects, I will be sitting at 8 to 9 o'clock. Patient is in supine position. For the non-dominant hand, I will hold a mirror for indirect vision or retraction. For the dominant hand, I will hold the ultrasonic handpiece with a light modified pen grasp and establish a stable fulcrum on a few teeth away from the working tooth. Before activating the USS, I explore with the USS tip on the tooth to locate any deposit. Then I insert the tip at the midline with vertical orientation, adapting the two to three millimeter of the lateral surface of the working tip to two surface. Maintaining at 15 degree angle, activate USS using constant moving, well controlled, small, one to two millimeter overlapping strokes, moving from the top to the bottom, covering all surface of the root in a systemic manner. Work the tip all the way from midline to distal into proximal. When touching the contact area, then drop my handle, use the face of the tip adapt to the tooth, then use vertical stroke, then stand up tall my hand with transverse orientation, use the side of the tip adapt to the tooth, keep using vertical strokes, and finish the distal interproximal surface. Then drop my handle again with the face of the tip adapt to the tooth. Keep using vertical stroke, then change to vertical adaptation of the tip. With the side of the tip adapt to the tooth and repeat the same procedure. Work the tip from distal interproximal to the mesial interproximal to finish the facial and mesial area. I will do the same procedure for facial aspects of number 26.
for 25, 26 lingual aspects, I will be sitting at 12 o'clock. Patient is in supine position. I will repeat the same procedure as the facial aspect for the lingual aspect of the 25 and 26. For 29 30 buckle expats, I will be sitting at 8 to 9 o'clock. Patient is in supine position and head to away from me. For the non dominant hand, I will hold the mirror for indirect vision or retraction. For the dominant hand, I will hold the ultrasonic handpiece with a light modified hand grasp and establish a stable fulcrum on few teeth away from the working tooth. Before activating the USS, I explore with the USS tip on the tooth to locate any deposit. Then I insert the tip at the distal buccal line angle with vertical orientation, adapting the 2-3 to three millimeter of the lateral surface of the working tip to the tooth surface, maintaining at 15 degree angle, activate USS using constant moving, well controlled, small 1-2 to two millimeter overlapping strokes, moving from the top to the bottom, covering all surface of the root in a systemic manner. Work the tip all the way from the distal buccal line angle to distal interproximal when touching the contact area, then change to transverse orientation. Use the size of the tip adapt to the tube use vertical strokes and finish the distal interproximal surface. Take out the tip, then insert the tip at the distal buccal line angle again with vertical orientation. 
adapting the 2 to 3 millimeter of the lateral surface of the working tip to the tube surface, maintaining at 15 degree angle, activate USS using constant moving wall control, small 1 to 2 millimeter overlapping strokes, moving from the top to the bottom, covering all surface of the tube in a systemic manner, work the tip all the way from the distal buckle line angle to the mesial interproximal. When touching the contact area, then change the to the transverse orientation. Use the side of the tip adapt to the tube. Use vertical stroke and finish the medial interproximal surface. I will do the same procedure for buckle of number 29. For number 2930 lingual aspects, I will be sitting at 10 to 11 o'clock. Patient is in supine position and head tilt towards me. I will repeat the same procedure as the buckle aspect for the lingual aspect of number 29 and 30.